How can we remain faithful in the midst of life's greatest trials? This question invites us to delve deeply into the heart of Scripture to a passage that speaks profoundly to our human condition. Let's take a moment to praise our Heavenly Father, for in His unending wisdom and boundless love, He guides us through every season of life. His grace sustains us, His mercy uplifts us, and in His presence we find a refuge from the storms of life. Today, let us reflect on the words from the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 21. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In this powerful verse, Job, a man of profound faith and integrity, speaks in the aftermath of tremendous personal loss. To fully grasp the depth of this verse, we must understand its context. Job, a righteous and prosperous man, faced unimaginable calamities, the loss of his possessions, his children, and eventually his health. Yet in the midst of this profound suffering, Job's response was not one of anger or despair, but of worship and submission to God's sovereignty. The essence of this verse is a testament to Job's unwavering faith. It teaches us that our trust in God should not be contingent on our circumstances. Job acknowledges that everything we have comes from God, our life, possessions, and even our trials. In saying, naked I came and naked I shall return, he accepts that we bring nothing into this world and can take nothing out. This realization brings a humbling perspective on our earthly journey. We live in a world where materialism and personal achievements often define our worth. Job's words remind us that our true value lies not in earthly possessions or accomplishments, but in our relationship with God. His statement, Blessed be the name of the Lord, is a powerful declaration of faith and trust in God's plan, regardless of our circumstances. As we ponder Job's response to his trials, let us challenge ourselves to adopt a similar posture of humility and trust in God. In times of loss or uncertainty, may we too say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, acknowledging His sovereignty and grace in every aspect of our lives. Let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, in our moments of joy and in our trials, help us to remember that everything we have is a gift from You. Teach us to hold on to our faith, to trust in Your sovereign will, and to praise Your name in all circumstances. In the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. Farewell, dear brothers and sisters. May the peace and love of Christ be with you always. God bless.